Hey guys, it's Horror Crawler, and we're going to be playing the Mortuary Assistant. So I'm going to go ahead and let you all know that I did play this game yesterday, and even though I had tested it and made sure the audio worked fine with a very, like, you know, like in the beginning here, I listened to it, sounded great. When I recorded the full video for some reason, the audio didn't go through. Uh, the game just sounded really choppy, and it sounded like General Grievous. Don't know why, so we're going to be doing it again, but that's why you may not see my initial reaction. But I just wanted to let you all know that. I had originally done this for an initial reaction, and that happened. I don't know why. Kind of upsetting, honestly. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. It's a game by Darkstone Digital. Hello? Hi, Valerie. It's Raymond. I know it's late, and I'm really sorry, but I have a huge favor to ask you. I had a late pickup over at Sacred Waters, and I just started the embalming maybe 20 minutes ago, but I have a family emergency I need to leave the office for. Would you be able to come in and finish it up? I mean, sure, but I haven't done one alone yet. Are you sure that'd be okay? You've been doing a great job. I'll leave a checklist for you just in case. I take care of some of the prep work already. I really appreciate it. All right, be there in just a moment. Great, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. And we're in. So, um, we're doing the mortuary assistant, a mortician. I'm sure you all know, but if you don't know, the mortician is the one that takes the bodies and embalms them and gets them ready for the families to see them. So, like, for instance, say somebody passes away, the mortician will go in and take the organs out, especially if they're an organ donor, and make sure that they go to the right place, and then they'll also go ahead and get makeup on them and whatnot to make them more presentable for the uh, funeral itself. So, already checked the vitals, bathed the body, and set the face. You know what you're doing by now, just in case. Here's the list. Wear a coat and gloves. Right. I wear XL gloves. And we're going to put this coat on. Beautiful. Um, didn't bring the tools out yet, so bring tubing, syringes, scalpel, and trokers to the side table. It's kind of weird that he wrote, I didn't bring the tools out yet. Like, did he type this up before he left? It's like, buddy, instead of, you know, typing this stuff out, couldn't you have maybe done your, uh, <laughs> couldn't you maybe done the body in the embalming already? Or, you know, it's whatever. It's cool. No big deal. Okay. And that's a scalpel. Yep, any second. There we go. And what else do we need? Syringes. Syringes are right here. And then tubing. Hello. And, yep, polyvinyl chloride tubing. Not there. Perfect. Slip my throat. I remember seeing that, and I think I said something along the lines of, well, that's not very nice. <laughs> Oh, now it's gone. Okay. And we need to get the embalming mixture in the machine. And we need some... Uh, Glutarol dehyde. Okay, ethanol. Beautiful. And then we just need this over here. And like I said, the reason I'm probably moving through it so fast is because I played the game. And my audio was all messed up. So that's why I know exactly what I'm doing. And I'm very sorry... Because, trust me, I was just as frustrated as it might seem. Create an incision in the carotid artery in the jugular vein. Yep. Got it. And I know that we can't... For some reason, you can't pick the scalpel up. But, uh, you can just click on her neck. The shield is ended. That which will not bend must break. A broken will become my vessel. I am here. Those who do not know me will know me when they hear the knock. The shield is ended. That which will not bend must break. A broken will become my vessel. I am here. Right. Those who do not know me. If you grab that scalpel right there and give her a little right in the neck, she'll stop talking. <laughs> Do you know me? No, I don't know you. I know. Do you know me? You. <laughs> it wasn't that funny. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Now, see, I do know on my initial playthrough, I did not see that, actually. Okay. Okay. Did it put back? Why? Why would you put that back? Did she not just get up? <laughs> so, look. And grab the scalpel. And walk out there. Quick little... <clears throat> down for the count. You get out of here, right?
Yeah, and she don't need a mortician, she needs a chiropractor. <laughs> That gets me every time, man. She's just launched up against the wall. And so, that was the Mortuary Assistant. It's a prototype. Um, like I said, it's made by Darkstone Digital. Um, they say that they're going to make a full version of the game, but I really don't know how they can make a full version of the game. That, pretty much right there, sums up, I feel like, about exactly what would happen in the game um i honestly don't think that like you know as soon as you go to touch the body like the slit your throat thing was kind of like what uh, i didn't quite get that because unless she i mean i'm assuming she must be some kind of demonic entity or something because she was floating <laughs> but still like you know towards the end there she floated towards me but like it just kind of like i feel like in this game or in this case scenario i would think that um it'd be actually creepier for the body to move a little bit less Little little subtle subtle movements. I don't know why I couldn't talk. Little subtle movements, like say like you turn around and you go to grab the scalpel, right? Then you turn back around and the body's arm is no longer under the blanket. It's hanging off the table. I feel like that'd be kind of freaky. As for um, making this a full game, I really don't know exactly. You know, I've never. I, this is the first time I've played any type of their games, and this is just a prototype. So, but um, uh, I don't know exactly what you know how full of a game you can make this. I feel like this couldn't last more than 30 minutes to an hour, maybe because when I played it last night, before my audio got all messed up, I beat it in 10 minutes, this prototype, and when I played it before then, I or then I played it now, and I got beat it in 7 minutes about. So, I'm just going to say that, like, my guess would be, I don't know, I don't know what they're going to do for it, but I think subtle body movements would be really cool, kind of freaky. Uh, it was kind of cool seeing her stand out the window, because I missed that during my last playthrough. Um, I noticed, I think you're supposed to walk over there to get it to unlock the door behind you, and I just now noticed that because I turned around and saw her standing there. But, um, uh, yeah, that is the Mortuary Assistant. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.